our first fossil hunt of the year. We have all kinds of containers, water, sledgehammer, geology hammer and a chisel. Uh, lots of plastic bags to put uh, all the fossils in. The boys are off, taking off already. This is the first field trip September 2007 and the dry dredgers have all convened here. The fossils are called Cincinnati and Cincinnati is world famous for it but the uh, Cincinnati Arch extends outwards 200 miles in all directions from Cincinnati. So it's, they're found in Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio. An example of some of the uh, rocks we see. This is a rich one, it has lots and lots of the tops of brachiopods sticking out. Lots of seashells. In fact, this one. Give you a close up. This seashell is covered. This brachiopod is covered with coral. I'll give you a close up of that. An example of some of the uh, rocks we see. This is a rich one. It has lots and lots of the tops of brachiopods sticking out. Lots of seashells. In fact, this one. I'll give you a close up. This seashell is covered. This brachiopod is covered with coral. I'll give you a close up of that. So that is a magnified coral on one of the seashells. It's my fingernail for comparison how big that was. Connor found a seashell and it is filled with crystals. And Keegan, what have you found so far? We've been here half an hour about. I've been finding crystal stuff, crystal little tiny little geodes like things. Yeah. Um, I found some large. Um, oh, that's nice. Um, snails and internal mold of a snail. Different little seashells. Brachiopod. Okay. We're up on a higher hill now. Or actually, we're up at the very top. Yeah, I just found another. I found a snail myself. A cephalopod void that has been infilled with uh, calcite crystals. Some kind of a, it's a cheap walking stick. Walking uh, stick with a shovel on the end. Okay. With some big lots. Okay. Hard ground. Okay. It looks good. Found the burrow, a fragment of a burrow, a trilobite burrow. And the characteristic is it's long and flat. Think of a cigar made out of clay stamped flat and then maybe cut in half or so. It's kind of a good description of what they look like. Their bodies uh, were, you know, ran through this part. This way. So that's a trace fossil. Not a body part, but of a body activity in the mud. And the, that is, uh, they get filled in and you can find them as positive or negatives. Cindy's got on all the right equipment. She's got on gloves, knee pads. She's got a good hat. We're showing off some of their finds after uh, collecting for about a few hours. Thank you, Pods. 
a swing for him. Baby coral, juvenile coral. This is a huge snail. At first, I thought that this was just a rock, but this is the second. This is the last whorl right here. Oh, it's huge. It's got an irregular thing sticking out, so it makes it look like a rock. But this is the last whorl. Another juvenile coral. Two of them stuck together. Point one. Tons of brachiopods like this. Curtis is going to show us his uh, fossil finds for today. He's got a handful of things. He's got a big snail. He's got rhizome. He's got lots of little zygospira, BB-sized uh, seashells. And what's that? Let's see this for a second. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, oh, I see what this is. This is uh, this is the inside of a seashell. A brachiopod, but growing on top of it is bryozoan. It's beautiful. It's totally the bryozoan is totally enveloped the seashell, and uh, so this is this, an example of uh, encrusting bryozoans, and it's just getting started. You know, some of them would would get much larger and branch out. And more little fragmented bryozoans. Each one of those little holes had uh, filter feeding arms eating the plankton. It's a colonial animal. Alright. Where's Pirate? Oh, yeah. And something that's Pyrite. See, oh, let's see what he's got. Okay, you found a trilobite. Wow. Oh, let's back up. What's your name? Dylan. Dylan, okay. This is caution that caused trouble. Be cleaned up a little bit. That's neat. Crinoid, crinoid stem. Oh, another little trilobite. And a third. Oh my goodness, look at all these trilobites. Wow. Okay, oh. okay. so Dylan found one, two, three, four, five, six little, six trilobites. Five of them are pretty tiny. And one large one. This guy found something so big that he's uh, taking it home with a sledgehammer. He found himself a trilobite. We've been here about three hours. People are still at it. There's about ten of us left. Okay. You have to keep your concentration when you are collecting this close to an edge. You have to be careful not to go all the way down. I keep telling that to my boys over and over again. My, my boys. Twelve-year-old's not a problem, but seven-year-old sometimes forgets that. This is a nice, thin one I can take home easily. Okay, you can see all the bryozoan strands in a parallel direction. So the water currents were sweeping this way. I take home uh, big slabs of rock that are filled with uh, the very seashell brachiopods, concentrations of different species. I love to decorate these around my house. 